Hello, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my five top A-level maths paper one tips so you can get that advantage getting go from a B to an A grade or even an A to an A star. So tip number one here is show clear working. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you're writing an integration or you're working with sequences and series, again, showing your method as you go through is really effective at collecting all those method marks. One thing you should definitely not do is just rely on the calculator, pop it in and put down the answer. That is literally the worst thing that you can do. Show your working, make sure you're fighting for every single mark. And number two is related to that. Don't just quote formulae. So if you're doing a sequence and series question and you're using the sum formula, then don't just write down the formula, then put the answer. What you need to show is that substitution. Okay, I'm using this value and this value to then work to my answer. Because you'll get no credit just by putting down the formula, but you will get the credit if you pop in those values as well. And number three is factorizing expanding. This is particularly linked to the topic on quadratics. If you want more information on quadratics, then do check out the video above. But when you're actually factorizing a quadratic, so you're actually working out the factors that go into it, making sure you show that process. Likewise, if you're expanding to find the coefficients of A, B, and C, then show that process as well. Again, it's a lot to fit in in that time for a paper one, but you need to show that to guarantee those marks. And number four, which is important towards the end of the paper in particular, is reading those questions carefully. You should be looking out for that word hence, uh, putting that in very, very big letters in front of you right now, because it's a really important word. If you're doing part C of a question and it uses that word hence, then you need to use a number from A and B to help you work out the answer in part C. If you do not use that value and try a completely different method, you will probably miss out on all the marks for that part C of the question. And number five is presentation matters. Again, but you know, big letters to make a real point here. So when you are presenting your work, you present it clearly. If you want the work to be marked, then make sure there's no line through it. Again, make it very, very clear what you want the marker to actually mark. And also if you're doing diagrams, use pencil, if you're using general writing, use ink, because that's really important. Again, making sure you show that working in as clear way as possible. Now, do you think I've missed anything out in my top five tips? Then again, do let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for some last minute revision on that A-level maths paper one, then check out the video right here. I spend two hours going through the top 10 topics you must know to do well on that paper.